Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. About a week ago, I made a video listing five champions that I believe to be among the better, if not best champions when it comes to using the new Gwinsu's Rageblade. And it seemed like a lot of people enjoyed that video, so I figured let's make another version of this, but this time list five champions that I think are very strong with the Hextech Proto Belt. Because whenever a new item gets released or an item gets heavily reworked, it's always very interesting to see and try and figure out which champions with this benefit the most. So right before we get into this video, I want to ask you guys the question, which champion do you think is the best when it comes to utilizing Hextech Proto Belt? And if you end up enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like button to let me know. Alright, so right before we get into the first champion, I want to give you guys my criteria as to how I decided which champions to choose for this video. There were three main ways I would look for to see if a champion can successfully utilize Protobalt and what I personally think is the best way. The first of which is, does this champion have some form of gap close or some way to set up the burst damage of Protobalt, so maybe like a hard CC. The next category is, does this champion have burst damage in their kit and the Protobalt can simply complement this burst and make it even stronger. And the third criteria was can the champion utilize the Hextech Revolver, which is one of the components you get in order to finish off the Hextech Proto Belt. And the last thing, which is kind of an obvious one, so I didn't really include it in the main three, is the fact that can this champion utilize the stats offered by the item. So now with all of these things in mind, let's go to the very first champion of this video, Diana. It almost feels like this item was made and designed for Diana, because Diana is a bruiser AP assassin type champion where she wants to build somewhat tanky, but she obviously still wants to build damage because she also plays like an assassin. Luckily for her, the Proto Belt gives her the best of both worlds while also complementing her burst already. She has her ultimate, which is a fantastic and easy gap closer, which can set up for a shotgun Proto Belt effect. Which, by the way, shotgun Proto Belt, which I'll be using throughout this video a lot, means essentially being right in front of your target using the Proto Belt active effect and trying to hit as many of those bolts as possible on your target. So, naturally, using something like a Diana ultimate to get right in front of the target and then use the item will increase increase your chances as to how much damage the item will do to your foe. But to make things even better, she also has her E ability which brings them even closer, slows them so you can easily set up the perfect proto belt. Her burst damage is already quite fantastic so this only complements it. It gives her some pretty decent wave clear as well because she doesn't have the best wave clear in the world. And the final thing is the fact that if you have the Hextech Revolver and you are level 6, well all you really have to do is ult on your target, auto attack them maybe with your passive as well and your WE, and they're going to be taking a lot of damage. All in all, this item gives Diana every single kind of stat that she would want, CDR, tankiness, and AP, complements her burst damage because she can set it up perfectly, and in my opinion, Diana is without question a great champion with a Hextech Proto Belt. Next up on this list is going to be another champion that I think is insanely strong, which is Evelyn. Now, whether you play Evelyn mid lane, top lane, or in the jungle, and the jungle is usually where I recommend playing her, she is going to be utilizing this item to perfection. Just like Diana, Evelyn is another melee AP assassin type champion that not only wants some CDR, but she also wants to be somewhat tanky so that she doesn't instantly die. Or in other words, if she can get an item that gives her burst damage to complement her kit, gives her just overall more damage, and even increases her mobility plus giving her some tankiness, well, why not? But on top of the burst, Evelyn has also her W2 gap close, she can obviously flank very easily thanks to her passive and just being invisible. Her ultimate is an AoE slow which lets her not only catch up to her targets, but offers her a very useful shield which will make sure that she does get up to her target before dying unless she's insanely behind or that target is insanely fed. Hextech Revolver is also quite fantastic on her because again, you can flank and you can get in range quite easily to auto attack and proc the effect while also dealing damage with your abilities and killing your target very quickly. But the great thing about Evelyn to me is the fact that on top of being able to utilize it for the shotgun burst damage, wave clear, and even using it for the overall stats that it provides, she can even use this to gap close, get in better range much quicker to get a perfect ultimate off, do a lot of damage, maybe just barely gap close to get that final Q off or the E ability off. She just has so many uses with this item, it gives her the stats that she wants, it complements her burst damage, and trust me, you should definitely try it on Evelyn. Because as long as you don't fall insanely behind, you will absolutely demolish everyone's face, as I'm sure you saw through some of the clips being shown here. 
Next up is the champion that is my personal favorite out of all of the champions I will mention in this video. Kennen is really good with the Proto Belt. Now, I am going to be making most likely another video specifically focused talking about Kennen in the near future. So, I don't really want to go super in depth with this because I want to save a lot of the information I have for that specific video. However, Kennen is without question a fantastic champion when it comes to utilizing Hextech Proto Belt because he has fantastic 1v1 dueling potential with his ultimate and Proto Belt only makes this easier. His E ability is essentially a gap close. Now, it's not the best gap close in the world, but you can use the Proto Belt to further gap close and get in range of your opponents to get a better ultimate off. But if you do not need to use the Proto Belt for the gap close and you can get on the opponent with your ultimate and your E alone, well then, once you finally stun your target, you're setting them up for the perfect shotgun Proto Belt full burst damage, kind of like you'll see with this Rengar right here. It also gives him a lot of really useful stats that he can can utilize perfectly because again CDR is fantastic, AP damage, it gives him some very useful HP stats because Kennen is somewhat of a mid to melee almost range type assassin because he does want to get in the middle of the fight, he wants to be in the heat of the battle. And he is not a champion that will be sitting in the back lines of a team fight just spamming Qs, he is going to be getting into the meat and the heat of the fight. So overall, Kennen has a lot of burst damage, Proto Belt only helps that, he has great CC potential with his ultimate and just overall his passive, which sets up the perfect Proto Belt potential. And his ultimate is one of the best things in a teamfight and probably one of the main reasons as to why you would ever want to pick Kennen. So, utilizing this properly and having Proto Belt help you get in the middle of the fight to hit more people with your ultimate while also dealing damage is never a bad thing. So other than that, Kennen is without question a fantastic user of the Hextech Proto Belt. He is my personal favorite and I highly recommend trying him out. Next up we have a champion I'm sure a lot of people expected to see on this list, Annie. Even though I don't think Annie is among the better champions that I've listed so far, I do think she's good enough to still make it on the list. And the reason is quite simple, I mean, usually Annie's build Rod of Ages because, again, she is somewhat of a mid-range caster that kind of wants to be almost in the middle of the fight. And she also has no escape, so she needs to be somewhat durable. But you can easily replace the Rod of Ages with the Hextech Proto Belt followed by a Rallyze. Or you can even go all three of those items and it'll work just as well. But either way, Annie can use Hextech Proto Belt in both ways. She can use it to not only dash in and gap close, maybe initiate with the ultimate and just kind of use it as a mini flash with Tibbers. Or she can use it to complement her burst damage where she throws down Tibbers or some ability that stuns the target, walks up to their face, shotgun Proto Belts them, deals an insane amount of damage and overall it'll just complement her already very high burst damage. On top of this, Annie usually builds a Rallyze Crystal Scepter and of course, since Hextech Proto Belt does do magic damage, that'll also apply a slow. Her auto attacks in the laning phase are very long range to the point where it's almost obnoxious to face, so if you have the Hextech Revolver, you can just easily auto attack the opponent, get some extra burst damage going from that item as well and it can be very annoying to face. I mean, all in all, it just gives Annie the stats that she wants, HP, AP, extra burst damage, a gap close which can help her not only maybe escape situations but also make situations happen with her Annie Flash Tibbers, and it just fits her very, very well. A champion that I'm sure, again, everyone expected to see, and even though I don't think she's the best of the best, she's definitely good enough to make it on the list. And the final champion I'll be talking about in this video before I jump into one honorable mention is going to be Fizz. Now this is another champion I feel like some people may have not expected to see on this list because well Fizz usually likes to just build full AP, just full glass cannon and not have to get an item that gives you AP but also tankiness with the exception of Abyssal Scepter. But you have to remember that even though Proto Belt is kind of an AP tanky item, the active effect makes it much more of a bursty AP item than it is a tanky AP item. And it works well with Fizz because the Hextech Revolver alone in the laning phase is very very strong. You just put on your W, your Q which procs on hit effects and then you can easily auto attack them again or just peace out with your E ability and you will be doing a lot of damage. But once you finish the actual Proto Belt, well on top of Fizz's already Already very obnoxious mobility, this adds even more and you can combine it with his Q to help you ensure that you hit as many of those fireballs as possible. But as if 
that was not enough. Again, remember, Hextech Revolver and the Hextech Protobel do have magic damage effects. And what does Fizz's ultimate do? It increases the magic damage done to that target by Fizz for the next several seconds. Also, Fizz doesn't have the best wave clear in the world because the only ability he does have that has any form of wave clear puts him in the middle of the wave. And if you do that while the enemy is pushing in, chances are you're dead right after that. So, this item, if you just use its active effect, is not the best thing in the world, but it definitely offers him a lot more than he currently has. All in all, this item is just really, really strong on Fizz. I mean, it gives him a lot of damage, it gives him a lot of burst with his Q, it amplifies the damage again with his ultimate, and just the Hextech Revolver alone already makes Fizz insanely strong. So, again, just like the other champions, this is another one you just gotta try out to believe. Now the one honorable mention is going to be going to Echo. Now this is a guy at first I thought would be my favorite when it comes to utilizing Hextech Protobelt. And even though I do think he's quite good, he's just not as good as you would think. I was really, really close to putting him in the place that Annie took and then instead talk about Annie as an honorable mention, but I decided to do this instead. So if you think about it on paper, Echo just seems to work well with the item because the Hextech Revolver synergizes with his Z e ability, so not only is it easy to proc it, but it is going to be doing an insane amount of damage. He also has a lot of ways to gap close, he has a slow with his Q ability and another slow with his passive and a move speed increase with his passive on top of also having a stun with his W which can set up the perfect perfect protobelt. So again, it just sounds like this item is perfect for him because he is a melee assassin who wants to build AP damage but also be a little bit tanky here and there not to die so fast. But landing the stun and getting it off is just not the easiest thing in the world so utilizing that and having the setup made just perfectly enough to utilize protobelt is not as easy as it sounds. And I feel like that was one of my biggest complaints or issues, it just wasn't as easy as I thought it would be to set up the item and just shotgun someone's face with it. On top of this, I feel like there's just better items for Echo as well. Now obviously Protobelt is a pretty good item on him, but there's just better ones. So all in all, that's the main reason why I decided to put Echo in the honorable mentions and not put him in the top 5 list, even though I feel like a lot of people may have expected him. But either way guys, I mean that is it for this video. If you did enjoy this one, then definitely hit that like button to let me know. Share this with your friends, let me know down below which champion you think is the best when it comes to utilizing Hextech Protobelt. Definitely make sure to check out my other videos as well and subscribe if you haven't and here are my favorite answers to the previous videos question asking what rank or elo are you at right now thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time peace